I still want to know how you handle days off, though. Ooh, days off. Um, so like I said, um, I think Sundays, Wednesdays for me kind of works best. Um, now, I, when, when I say day off, I mean, that's like you're not doing admin. You're not, you know. We, I, yeah, we so call that's, it, yeah, right. You're, you're being a pajama adjuster, like just hanging out in your hotel room. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because uh, normally Wednesday, Wednesday would I, I just refer to Wednesdays for people as a paper day, uh, or depending if they're on hourly or commission based uh, pay. Um, for me, is usually Sunday. It's a good reset day. Um, yeah. Sometimes Saturdays into Sundays. Um, for me, it depends if it's if it's a Sunday and I'm in Texas. Uh, my go to is something relaxing. Um, there's years that I was doing, uh, doing like yoga and a hot tub, um, at the gym, you know, oh, yeah. just trying to bring things down to as peaceful and as quiet as possible. Um, yeah. I think, I think you realize over time of how much our mind just go, go, goes. Um, and I put that above the, the idea of as, um, as we live in North America, just how fast everything moves. As an adjuster, yeah. things move twice as fast, right? Because yep. it's it's just crazy. Um, we had a storm here last night, and it's just like I'm just waiting for things that, to pop off. So my brain's already going. Um, other things, if I'm not home, um, a Sunday, I don't I don't like to be lazy. Um, I have to do something, right? Yeah. I don't want to be, I don't want to be in Seattle, Washington and not go see the needle, you know? Right, um, right. um, like up here, uh, this, this year, um, I took a three day class for snowboarding. Um, so for me, nice. that was, yeah, for me, that was my, uh, relaxing days. Um, um, there's so much, there's so much history to see. There's so much just different local things to see. I went to, I just took a walk the other day. Um, it, it was sunny. Uh, I took a walk. I went to a bakery down the street. It's been, uh, it's been open for 170 years or wow. 107. Sorry, excuse me. 107 years. It's been open. They closed during COVID and unnamed, um, what do they call it? Unnamed investors who did not want to be disclosed, um, put in money to reopen this bakery because of how, Wow. Um, historical it was to the to the area, so um, there's always something. Um, I was down That's when crazy. I was down south. It was um, in Corpus. I ran all my jobs and made sure t that my non-admin day was in Corpus Christi, um, and um, paid a little bit extra. Got the hotel on the beach. Um, did the um, uh, there's one of the um, military ships right there in corpus um so i did the full history day got to see the uh um the ships that are used in um freaking top gun all yeah. of the all of the airplanes yeah yep. they're out on on deck so just different things like that just to bring you back you know bring you back to being human bring you back to realizing that there's more to life than all we do is help, 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 right? Somebody's always asking something from us or we're always asked to, you know, go take a look at this loss. And when do you take the time for yourself? Um, so whenever the sun's out, especially on a Sunday, it's taking in as much sun as I can with as little stress as possible. Um, yeah. So sure. th that's usually, I mean, even some days it's just reading a book outside, you know, um, just calming the mind, calming the body. Some days, I will not lie, there were some days that I slept in my RV from Saturday night until Monday morning. And that's just the type of <laughs> week it that. was. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, yeah. I got up and I think I may have, you know, ate one meal and that was it. And it wasn't even yep. like, it was a peanut butter sandwich or something. <laughs> but, uh, yep. but that's the type of week it was. And my body loved every part of it. Um it wouldn't be ideal if we weren't doing anything all week, right? But when we're running and gunning, you know, sometimes you just – you have to listen to your body. And it's like, yeah. what does my body need to reset? Because once Monday comes, 30, 40 emails comes quick. And if you didn't have that reset on that day off, then hey, man, 
you got to watch out. So at yeah, that point, yeah, I think that's sure. where people will get burnt out. And then that's where like, look, I just want to go home because they're not taking that time to, to refuel, you know? Yep. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's funny. I've, I've done that before. You wake up at like four in, an four in the afternoon and you're like, it's four o'clock. Yep. I'm going back to bed. <laughs> yeah. And you yeah. just stay there until you might wake up at four o'clock in the morning on Monday, but you're like, you bounce out of bed and look, all right, ready to tackle the next thing. Sometimes okay. your body will do that. You know, they'll say like, well, you only need eight hours of sleep. But sometimes, you know, sitting in traffic, you know, occasionally you're getting yelled at by somebody or the, your stress levels up and you're getting yeah. like six hours of sleep or five and a half hours of sleep every single night for seven, 10 days, something like that. And your body's going to like, it's going to be by the nape of the neck and say, you need to go to sleep yeah. and stay asleep. Well, Just recover. The biggest thing with that, I, I avoid traffic like the plague. Um, I'm either inspecting you before I'm either getting my inspections done and getting home before traffic hits. Uh, cause I'm at home, home base for me is Houston, Texas. So we have, you know, eight lanes wide on both sides of I-10 and oh, people, yeah. I've, you know, I've people from Rhode there. Island. Yeah. Come down and they're like, dude, this is, this is chaotic. But, um, so normally I'll either run, run, get out and run claims, um, before traffic's even on the road. Um, or if I, if it's that one person who's like, Hey, look, I don't get off work till five. Like the earliest I can be at home is six. Well then I'm, you know, I'm finding a Starbucks close by, um, or a McDonald's and I'm bringing my laptop that day and I'm writing reports up while I wait for them. And then once I run their job and by the time I'm headed back home, traffic's if you're a brand new adjuster working for a major IA firm, you will most likely already be covered under a blanket errors and emissions policy. You probably already pay something like five or $10 per claim for this coverage. And what is errors and emissions? Well, if you're accused of messing something up on a claim, your E and O insurance will step in and help you out. But what if you cause damage or injury on a field inspection? For example, your ladder falls down and smashes the insured's brand new Ford F-150 Lightning then a general liability policy will cover you in that instance. Again, you likely have a little bit of protection through your IA firm as a newbie adjuster. However, if you've got a year or two under your belt and you make most or all of your annual income from claims work, then you owe it to yourself to upgrade your e &O and general liability coverages to be customized to you. And depending on how many claims you run in a year, there's a very good chance these policies will be cheaper for you with your own coverages. Better and cheaper? Sign me up. There's only one company that provides e and and general liability solely to the insurance industry, and that is CPLIC, a.k.a. Kaplik. They even have drone and cyber coverages. Download the free guide all about the different kinds of insurance you as the adjuster should carry at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And with more than 700 videos, there's plenty more to watch here on Adjuster TV. Don't know where to start? Just go to my videos page here on YouTube and type in a search term right here to find an answer to almost any question you have about property claims handling. And we'll see you in the next one.